Cooking at home can be a challenge when it comes to creating a dish that will really wow your taste buds. But our next guest is showing us how to make a dish that's not only healthy, it's also unique and delicious. Local chef Alicia Chevatone is back to show us her endive bites. These look gorgeous. Alicia, welcome back. Thank you, Alyssa. How are you today? Oh, I'm great, and I'm even more excited to have an idea for dinner for tonight. Yeah. So <laughs> talk to us about this appetizer. You know, uh, so endive is part of the chicory family, and I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it looks like a little torpedo-shaped okay. bowl, and it's great. It, it's kind of a cross between cabbage, not really lettuce, but it's a little bit bitter, and I tell you, it's the perfect foil for anything you want to put on top of it. View it as a chip. It's essentially just Ooh. a chip, but in vegetable form. So it comes in a bulb like this. You chop off the little root end, and what you get are essentially a bunch of beautiful little leaves that you could put on anything, and it'll make a nice uh, appetizer that you can circulate, walk around with. I'm really glad that you gave that warning that it's bitter because I bought endive before thinking it was just an alternative to lettuce, threw it in how I normally make a salad, and because I wasn't ready for that flavor profile, I didn't pair it with the right things. But you are teaching us what to fill, they look like little boats, um, to fill them up so it goes well with that flavor. That's true, and I will tell you too, they're grown in the dark, which is why they're not green like other leafy vegetables you might expect. And the paler they are, so the less yellow you see, the less bitter they will be. So look for endive that is more white or cream colored if you don't like the bitterness. But what I've done here is a little bit uh, seafood forward. I made some crab salad mm. simply with some cream cheese, uh, a little bit of sour cream, some crab, chives on top. That's one I made. Another one I made is almost a riff on bagels and lox. So I took some smoked salmon, sliced it up into ribbons. And what I did was I took a little ball of cream cheese and I put everything bagel seasoning on it, which is absolutely Yum. delicious. So yeah, you can pretty much put anything on these babies and they're delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go over to your website and see all of the options you have for these endive bites because that is so fun. And I like that you have it laid out with different fillings inside because especially for hosting, we never really know what somebody's limitations are when it comes to diet, whether they're keto or dairy free. What tips do you have to accommodate all sorts of diets? I love recipes like this, and that's a great question, Alyssa. I like recipes where you could take a single method, in this case, using endives as little leaves to put uh, fillings in and have a vegan option and a non-vegan option. So let's think this through. If you are a vegan, you can't eat vegetarian stuff, but if you're a vegetarian, you can eat vegan stuff. Exactly. So what I have here, and great segue, I've got a little endive uh, slice, and I have some roasted, pepper hummus. Mm. So stuff it with a little bit of hummus and that will round out our platter. We top it with a little bit of chives just to give it some extra color. In the center here, we have a little bit of leaves with just tomatoes and a few Fresno chili slices yeah. so that it's very easy for the vegetarians to see and or the vegans to see what exactly they can eat. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna stop and get some endives on my <laughs> way home from work today. <laughs> Go check out Alicia Chevatone's website, dinkcuisine.com. Thanks again, Alicia. Thank you so much. Great seeing you guys. You too.